Hi guys, this is Jake with Think Free Live Free and today I'd like to share with you how I connect my 100 amp um, BMS to my LifePo battery pack. I just want to show you a few things um, to check as you're hooking that up. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to try to get them up to 3.45 volts. So I'm going to connect the BMS and put these guys in series. Um, so I'll show you that. I'm going to be connecting a 3000 watt 24 volt inverter to that. This is going to be my battery for my van build. I had to wait over two months for these batteries to arrive. Um, the cell's looking good. I'm not going to run it up to 3.65. This is going to be for solar application. So I'm going to go a little bit lower at 3.45 volts. At the very end, I'll put them back in parallel for a day just to make 100% sure that the cells are completely balanced. So you can do it however you want. This is just the way I'm doing it. Uh, I hope this helps um, some people out there. And I'll leave links in the description to some of the items that I use if you guys are interested. It takes a lot of the guesswork out and you don't have to go search for it. A lot of this stuff takes a lot of time, especially when you have to do a lot of research for it. So if there's anything that I'm using that uh, you like or whatever, um, they will be in the description. This side is positive, this side is negative, so the blacks here are positive. So I'm going to be rearranging that into series. I'll show you how to do that. You just flip flip this side around so you'll have a positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. As you can see there, these cells are all at 3.33. Uh, we got a negative on this side, so I'm going to flip this one. So we got negative, positive, negative, and then we're going to flip this one again. Positive, negative, flip this one. So the next step is to connect your bus bars. So the first bus bar is going to go positive and the negative. And then you just keep going positive, negative. And you're basically just trying to complete the circuit. So positive and negative here. I'll put the bus bar over that. This, this far end will be your battery negative, and this will be your battery positive. So the next step is to connect your balance lead and you will see this is a 8S, so we're going to start with the black cable. So you have a black cable here. You're going to start with this one, and then you're going to move on to the next one. So first, let's let's put the black negative on the far side here. We're going to start on this this side. And then the first red will be your cell one positive. So it just goes on the positive. Um, and make sure when you're connecting these, um, th these little connectors will have a flat side. Make sure that you put the flat side down so it makes a nice connection. So this is cell two positive. So the black one goes to the negative here, 
and then sell one positive is the first red lead there and it goes to the, this terminal and then sell two positive is going to be the next terminal and cell three will be there cell four will be here cell five cell six cell seven and cell eight, uh, cell eight positive <laughs> And I'm not over cranking these, just don't think it's necessary. You don't want to damage your terminals. And it's nice and snug, but it's not over tightened. I want to show you how to, how to check and make sure that you've connected everything right before you connect the BMS. If you connect the BMS and the leads are not correctly attached you will burn out your BMS so before you connect this to your BMS you want to use a voltmeter and check you see those little connectors there those little holes in here you're gonna connect your voltmeter to that so you're gonna put your negative over here and then you'll put your positive on the next one and that should give you a reading and for cell cell one, it should read 3.3 volts. Cell two should read 6.6 uh, 6 volts. Cell three should read 9.9 .9 volts, and then it goes all the way up to 26 and a half volts. Um, if they go in order, you know you're good. If you get a zero reading, there's something wrong with your lead. If cell two does not say 6.6 .6 volts and it says something else, 9.2 or whatever, you've switched. Cell, th cell 3 and cell 2 around. So make sure to check that and um, give yourself the peace of mind to not fry your BMS. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how I check that. I'm going to switch this over to 200 DCV on my voltmeter since this is a 20, 24 volt battery. It's not going to work on just 20. Um, so Always a pain in my ass, this voltmeter. Okay, so the first one reads 3.3 .3 volts. Next one reads 6.6 .6 volts. Next one, exactly 10 volts. Next one, 13.3. Sixteen point six, nineteen point nine. So as you can see, they go up in increments of three point three volts. So this one is twenty. So the next one should be about twenty three. They're twenty three point three, and the last one is twenty six point seven. So that way, I know everything is in order. All my leads are correct. Um, by the way, I just want to show you here, I don't know if you can see, but the black one goes into the far left corner here, and then you just go with your red one. You go one at a time here. That one, then the next, then the next, and you just leave your black one in there. So you just go across and you check all of them. If I go to the last one, it says 26.7. If I go to the first one, it should say 3.3, and it does. Second one, 6.6. .6. So.
That way you know your balance leads are set up correctly and you can move on to connect your BMS. Okay, so the way to connect your BMS, so this is my this is my Dali 8S 24 volt 100 amp BMS. The blue lead here is going to go directly to the battery and then the P negative will basically become your negative a terminal where you attach things. This is a thermal meter that's going to read the temperature of the battery. Um, that you can just stick somewhere close to the battery. Uh, I'll show you how I do that. So now that you know everything is connected correctly with your leads, you can go ahead and plug this in. These leads are not very long and the terminal connectors are quite short. So um, I, I, I've just put this box here for right now. I am gonna take this negative lead off and connect my battery cable first. That way the bigger cable is underneath. And the thermal sensor, I'm just gonna run that under this bus bar here and kind of put it in the middle there. So this becomes now your battery negative basically. I will connect my power supply there to charge up my battery. By the way, I am putting these in series so that I can charge faster, but I have to keep an eye on it. But the BMS will also help to keep things in check to some degree. I'm not going to rely on that 100%, so I will be checking back in on it. But I will set my power supply so that it does not exceed 3.65 on the cells. Um, but since this is a 24 volt in series, I will be put, uh, setting my voltage at about 27.6 volts, which is the equivalent of 3.45 volts per cell. Times 8, you get 27.6. Uh, that's what I want to reach. Um, so I will be charging it up to that. And then after that, I will let it sit in parallel for a day or two just to make sure that everything is nicely balanced. And then I should be good um, to install these in my van and uh, for my solar application. I hope this video is helpful um, in some way. I hope it makes it easier for you guys uh, out there that's also um, getting into getting a LiFo battery and hooking everything up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful and able to help you on your battery installations and for your battery projects. Um, I hope this helps you in some way. Um, I will put a link in the description to uh, the particular batteries that I ordered. These are 3.2 volt uh, lithium cells. Capacity is 310 amp hours. These are Cat L uh, branded um, batteries that I ordered from China. Um, it did take a long time for it to get here. I paid $950 for eight of them, um, but it took over two months to get here. But it gives me a, a 310 amp hour 24 volt battery, or if you put that in parallel for a 12 volt battery, it will give you 620 amp hours which is an unbelievable price for a lithium ion phosphate battery. I think I paid $60 for the BMS. Uh, guys, thank you for watching and um, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you find the content useful. Um, I'll be doing a lot more videos specifically on the battery and uh, how I'm gonna mount it in my van. I am currently in California. Uh, I have moved recently. Um, I have not been able to work on my van much in the last two weeks, but I'm starting to get more time to work on my van. I have some other things going on right now. So I do want to apologize for, uh, I was posting once a week, um, my van build videos. 
So this is more a review of this battery and how to attach your BMS. Um, I hope this is useful for people out there. Obviously this is not just van related, this is for any off-grid situation. Good luck with your builds guys and uh, I appreciate you guys. Please hit the like button guys. Um, please subscribe. Take care. Bye.